Happy Decor Day, everyone. Good morning. It is home day. There are so many amazing trends out there on the market when it comes to your decor. But what if you want to do a little bit of mixing and matching? Please welcome Karen Seeley. <laughs> Good. I love this. I love the color. So there's a lot going on here. I mean, it's also tastefully done. You'd never know it. Yeah, so there's five trends we're representing right five. here. Five trends. And I'm going to okay. talk through all the trends. And I think people want to incorporate trends in their home, but they already have existing furniture, and so they don't know how to do it. Yeah. So, for example, you might have a beautiful sectional and a good neutral, like this one from Gautier. Mm -hmm. And then you think, okay... So how do I incorporate all of these amazing, bold colors in my space? Well, because you have so many neutrals, that's the great thing, is that you can bring in amazing, like if you look at this rug, a wool rug from Minister Interiors, great color inspiration, yeah. and then we added all of this amazing color, all of the throws, these are all gorgeous. of the pillows from Turquoise Palace. These are all handmade in India, and the women oh, who wow. design these are local ladies. That's so, incredible. Yeah, and so they change and they change their patterns every six months. So you're not going to see this it. in all your friends' homes, which is really nice. I like the fact that, you know, you get a color family going and you can mix and match. Probably no two of these pillows are the same, but it looks really seamless. It's it lovely. does. And you know what? And the nice thing is, is that you can buy a few new covers in a few years, keep the yellow or keep the blues or turn them around, and then so you're not necessarily spending a lot of money to keep your home looking fresh. And that's right. really what we're trying to do. We're trying to incorporate trends into our home so that they make our home feel new and fresh and current mm -hmm. but here's the trick that uh, do not go crazy on one trend so for example a lot of people when espresso wood was big yes. they bought every single piece of furniture in their whole house in espresso yes and then when it wasn't as popular all of a sudden they didn't like anything in their house so be so careful don't of go that. overboard. Don't Do go a overboard. little bit of a, a little bit of a good thing is yes. good enough, and then you can incorporate a little bit more. So the the trend we are dealing with right now is color. So bold colors. Bold colors. Bold colors. Okay, and so we've done that with the rug and the cushions. And speaking of bold colors, we're also black is back. And the truth is, black yeah, was is. never out. We love black. Yeah. Because a little bit of black in a room is sophistication and glamour. So if you yes. look at our table from Artage, it's beautiful. And mid-century modern is another big trend we're seeing, and it's and it's actually been growing in popularity really since the 80s and 90s mm -hmm. so it's but it's become so big right now and this table has that bent wood feeling which is actually inspired from chairs in the 50s and 60s okay so very modern looking table very contemporary looking table but the black really makes it drives it home right and so it's really just one black piece and maybe a few little uh, objects over there but that's enough yes so you're just touching on the trend yes and the nice thing too is having that repetition yeah. so it is nice so warm metals are another really big trend mm -hmm. so our accessories are all also from Turquoise Palace and you can mix and match and the nice thing about that is that you know we, we've been doing so many chromes and stainless and nickels and they're lovely and they've got this great kind of sheen and jewel quality in our home yeah but there's something kind of cold about them because of the gray right so by introducing warm metal like this mirror from Renwell it's amazing how much it actually creates a more feminine feel because you have all these warm metals and mm -hmm. if you notice we've actually mixed and matched our metals and it's that's gorgeous. okay yeah. It's really nice. I mean, that's the only spot of rose gold you have. Maybe you've got a bit of that in the cushions, and it, it looks like it fits. And, and so on you a can dark do that. Wall. So and on again, a dark wall. don't be afraid of color, particularly mm -hmm. in something like paint or some accessories, because it's something you can easily change. Yeah. And look how dramatic everything looks. You can imagine if this had been a light gray wall, yeah. everything would have just washed away. Blend. Yes, and it's fun to have colors. Color brings energy into your home. It brings right. personality into your home. It gives you an immediate dramatic effect. So we have color, we have black, we have mid-century modern, we have warm metals and mixing metals. What yep. else? One more. One so more. rustic materials. Oh, right. So And the great thing it's about rustic... It's huge right now. Oh, you know what? It, it looks fabulous because mm -hmm. if you have a really modern, stark interior and you bring like a live edge table into your space, for example, all of a sudden there's a warmth and approachability about your space. Mm -hmm. Or if you have a more traditional home, then you bring it in, it actually kind of helps relax a traditional home. Yeah, because you feel like you can like throw a hammer in it and it'll be okay. Exactly. It's like rustic. Just, it's just yeah. a, it's just like a <laughs> trunk of a tree. But there's something about it just casual. It's yes. casual, right? Exactly. And we're going to show some pictures of some spaces yes. that we've done to show how you can mix and match trends and how they work. So our first picture yeah. is a dining area, an eating area, and a kitchen. And you can see we've got beautiful bold color in the space. And this kitchen we did about three years ago. And the you know the art and the lantern and the fabric on the banquette and the chairs it just adds a vibrancy for a young family. And what would you be mixing that trend with? So if if you look, we've got 
got the mid-century modern uh -huh. um, um, sarin base of the table. Yeah. We've got the color. And if you looked in the backsplash, there was actually veining of black in the marble. So we actually had uh -huh. a lot of beautiful, it's hard to see the backsplash there, but there's yeah. beautiful black veining in the, in the book matched um, countertop and, and uh, backsplash. So the other picture we have is of a kitchen. So yes. the trends in this one? We're seeing black and I don't, it's hard to tell here, but those shelves are actually reclaimed barn board and yep. they actually truly come from, from a barn. So we're doing the floating shelves, the black kind of barn style lanterns, and then the beautiful black appliances at a level of sophistication, but then the reclaimed wood, makes it very comfortable and approachable. Right. Black appliances, they're everywhere now, they aren't are. they? Incredible. Really hot. Okay, we also, just one more picture sure. we're going to show right now. This is a banquette yes. as well. What are the trends we're looking you know, at here? I mean, if you look at the Eiffel chairs and the Aero Center and table base, often called the tulip base, mm -hmm. and that is a reclaimed wood tabletop that we had made and lots of color. And you can see that there's just so much going on in the space, but it all works. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It totally does. You are going to be at a big show coming up that we're going to tell our audience about. It's the Canadian Furniture Show, and you're going to be speaking? I am, yay. Yeah, what are you, about trends. What are you going to talk about? That's what you're oh, talking yeah. about? I'm going to talk about trends. And I'm going to give people way more tips on how they can incorporate trends into their own home. Okay. I, I was asking what you're going to talk about because we talk about a lot of other stuff in the makeup room. <laughs> Dating, well, boys, yes. makeup, hair. Well, I take questions too. So okay. at the end of the show, people can ask me anything. I'll tell them anything they want to know. Well, it's at the <laughs> International Center. It's open to the public. It's Sunday, June 7th. Karen will be there. Go say hi. She's brought pairs of tickets for everyone in our audience. So go hang out with her. It'll be a fun time. It always is with Karen. <laughs>